Ashadu. Allah. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Wa Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa Rasulu. Wa Rasulu. I testify. I testify. There is no God but Allah. There is no God but Allah. And I testify. I testify. That the Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad is a servant, a servant and messenger of Allah. Okay, beautiful man. More about the uh, Islamic faith. Okay, beautiful my brother. I'm taking a religious studies class because I just find it really interesting. Okay, awesome, awesome man. Ask, uh, may I? Absolutely, my brother. First of all, what's your name? Michael. Michael. Okay, that's beautiful. You know, in Arabic, we say your name Mikhail. I mean, I mean, it's one of the archangels. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's uh, awesome, I man. Think the name comes from Hebrew. It means he is like God or who is like God. Okay. Something like that. I don't know. Someone almost told me. Okay, interesting, interesting. So, uh, Mikhail, we believe that he's one of the archangels. If I'm not mistaken, he's the one who controls the rain. You know, he's the one who's responsible for the rain, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, do you mind if I share with you a little bit about, about, about the book and about Islam, of if course, that's okay with you? Do you have any questions on the top of your mind, just to not, begin with? Not on top of my mind at the moment. Okay, beautiful. So I'll just start from the beginning, okay? So Islam simply means submission to the Almighty Creator, right? A Muslim means a person who chooses to submit their will to the Almighty Creator, right? As Muslims, we have a very simple belief that there's only one Creator, and only that Creator is worthy of worship, right? We believe that Almighty God, that Almighty Great creator right mm -hmm. that he has sent many prophets and many messengers right yeah. and some came with revelations as well right mm -hmm. to guide all of mankind right? right so we believe that the quran is known as the final revelation right mm -hmm. the final revelation we believe that the, there were previous prophets that mm -hmm. did come with previous re re revelations as well but those revelations are no longer in their original form yeah. what happened was right is after those prophets were no longer on earth the people who had the books left with them, they started writing into the books with their own hands, yeah. right? And they started attributing things to God that they wanted to. Mm -hmm. Instead of like, they started basically changing the books of God yeah. and started writing into the books of God with their own hand, right? Yeah. So then that's when Almighty God sent the final prophet, right? Mm -hmm. And he also sent the final revelation as well, right? Because right. we believe that that was a test for those people at that time. Mm -hmm. Those people were tested that they have a book, uh, they have a revelation that came from the creator, right? What are they going to do with it? Are they going to keep it in its pure form mm -hmm. or are they going to start adding things to yeah. it, right? And the reason why they actually did that, they started adding changes and they did it for power mm -hmm. and they did it for money. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because if you control the information, you can control oh, the people. There you go. You get it. You get it, right? So the Quran came, right? to free people from the enslavement of those people who wanted to change things and try to hide the truth from the people. Right. You understand? So that's why the Quran was revealed, right? And this time, the, the uh, it was revealed in an oral tradition, right? So this time it was... Archangel Gabriel uh, to yes, the to the Prophet Muhammad. Yes, beautiful. And this is the original book right here in Arabic, right? Mm -hmm. So as Muslims, we've been taught to memorize this book, yeah. right? There's hundreds of millions of Muslims that have memorized this book cover to cover, letter for letter, word for word. Obviously, some things will be lost in translation. Of course, it, yeah. But the thing is, we still have the original. And yeah. if you want to, you could spend time to learn the Arabic, mm -hmm. and then you could learn the deeper understanding. Because yeah. unfortunately, English is not that deep yeah. of a language. Do yeah. you speak any other language besides English? Armenian. Armenian. So like, even like, for instance, Armenian, obviously I don't speak Armenian, yeah. but you, you could tell the difference between English yeah. and Armenian, yeah. right? Like, the, for instance, uh, Arabic is an extremely deep and very poetic language. Yeah. You understand? So the way that you could explain things in Arabic, you cannot explain it the same in English. Yeah. Because unfortunately, uh, English is a very surface language, mm -hmm. right? Even the vocabulary, it does, it's not yeah, like, yeah. A, it doesn't touch the heart and the emotions yeah. the way the other languages do. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So this is the original uh, scripture right here in Arabic, right? If you don't mind, I would love to share with you a few verses, if, that, if that's okay with you. Beautiful. So like I mentioned, we've been taught to memorize the book, right? Mm -hmm. And the reason, right, um, like, so like I was mentioned to you how the previous scriptures, right, that they were altered by man, right? So yeah. now, this time the scriptures came in an oral tradition. Mm -hmm. So that means people would read it, they would memorize it as well. So let's say, for instance, they were to get, let's say they were to burn all the Qur'ans on earth, right? Mm -hmm. And they were to throw all of them in the ocean. Guess what? Immediately we could create a new one right away, right? Because we've memorized it in our minds and in our hearts. So we don't necessarily need the physical book, right? But no other religion could actually say that, bro. You get what I'm trying to say? So that's what makes us different than anyone else, right? So I'll go ahead and share with you a few verses, right? 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to recite in Arabic, and I'll go ahead and translate for you in English, okay? A'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Arrahmanirrahim Maliki yawm al-deen Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين did you feel the energy right now oh my brother man my brother man you see that's how, you see what you felt right is the truth Right, speaking not just to you but to your soul, because mm -hmm. you have to understand, as human beings, our soul is aware of the truth. Right? right now, our soul is waiting for our body to go and search and find that truth as well, and that's how you find. That's how people they end up. You know how people people say that? Oh, you know, I, I feel unpeaceful, and I'm looking for peace. Yeah. Right? The reason why they're looking for peace, it's their soul that's craving that peace. Their soul is craving the truth. Right? right. But if they're being fed lies their whole lives. The soul is not going to feel peaceful because the soul knows what the truth is, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead and uh, share with you um, uh, the translated of what I said. If you want, you can open up with me as well, the first page of the Quran. So what I just recited for you is the prayer of guidance, okay? Right. So as Muslims, we read this almost 15 times a day, right? So it says, in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful. All praise is for Allah, Lord of all worlds, the most compassionate, the most merciful, the master of the day of judgment. You alone we worship. You alone we ask for help. Guide us along the straight path, the path of those that you have blessed, not those that you are displeased with or those who are astray. Right? So this is the first chapter of the Quran. It's called the prayer of guidance. Right? So as Muslims, right, uh, like, like every single Muslim has memorized this mm -hmm. chapter, right? Um, is there any questions that you have from so far of what I said so far? No, it's beautiful. Okay, beautiful, my brother. Um, all right, sounds good. But I guess if you want, uh, you could keep in contact with me. Uh, do you have Instagram by any chance? Yes, I do. Okay, beautiful. You could go ahead, uh, uh, you know, uh, shoot me a message on Instagram. Sure. And that, therefore, if you have any questions in the future, uh, please feel free to ask. Uh, what? Where are you on your uh, spiritual journey right now? Um, I've been Christian my whole life, but, you know... Uh, I had like for a while I thought you know maybe there is no higher power than you know people sometimes have like a connection where they like see a miracle of course or, like wow yeah know? yeah it obviously is true and whenever I enter a uh, like a place of worship I just feel so calm That's like, all my troubles just melt away That's beautiful. But what will push you away from Christianity if you don't want me asking um um, I just so sometimes it's like perverted by the uh, the preachers, you know. You were able to see that basically. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you know that that's that's it basically. Okay. No. No problem. No problem. So I uh, so I don't know if you're aware. So as Islam, mm -hmm. we have a lot of things that are aligned with Christianity, yeah, right? But obviously we have uh, differences as well. Like for instance, uh, one of the major differences is how we view God. Do you mind if I share with you what we believe about God? Sure. Okay, do you have time or do you have to go? Because I don't want to take too much of your time. Okay, no problem, no problem. So I'll just quickly share with you a few verses about who Almighty God is, okay? Um, that way you have a clear understanding of who the Creator is, okay? So I'll go ahead, um, start, um, I'll recite the verses in Arabic and I'll translate for you in English, okay? So it starts. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahmani r-Rahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam yakun lahu kufuwan ahad. Right. So what I just recited for you, my brother, is on page three seventy four of the Glorious Quran, chapter one twelve. Right. This describes to you who the Almighty Creator is, okay? So it says, in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. He is Allah, one and indivisible. Meaning He is absolutely one. He cannot be divided into parts, right? right. So when Christians, they claim the Trinity, as Muslims, that's our difference, right? right. We believe God is absolutely one. Mm -hmm. We have a pure concept of monotheism, right? Mm -hmm. That we do not 
divide God into parts, right? We we believe that there's only one creator and he cannot be divided into parts, right? So, and then the next verse is Allah, the sustainer needed by all, meaning everyone and everything needs him, but he does not need anything or anyone. You understand? He has never had offspring. So as Muslims, we do not believe that we are the children of God. Yeah. We believe that we have a mother and father already, which is Adam. Adam is the father of mankind and uh, Eve is the mother of mankind, right? And, um, and he was never born, meaning Jesus cannot be God, right? Because God is not born, right? And there is none comparable to him. So this is like the differences of what we believe compared to the other people. So like in our aspect, we have more of a pure monotheism, right? Yeah. Where we do not like, like weaken God or we see God as such an almighty, like we truly view God as the almighty, the most powerful. So if we say that he comes down as a human being, mm -hmm. that makes him weak because right. almighty God is unlimited, right? Mm -hmm. and human beings are limited in every way, shape, or form. If I were to ask you to look past a certain distance, you can't do that. Yeah. If I ask you to jump higher than 100 foot, you can't do that, right? Mm -hmm. We're all full of limits. Right. Mm -hmm. Obviously, after a certain point in time, you get tired, you get hungry. Yeah. This is this is not the. Uh, these are the attributes of the creation, not the attributes of the creator. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'll love to offer you uh, one more gift, my dear brother. Um, these are all from the holy city. Uh, go ahead, and pick out whatever color you like. It's a gift from me to you, my brother. Uh, are you sure. Yeah, absolutely, my brother. I, I purchased all this for you guys to give it to you guys as gifts, my dear brother. Okay, and along with this is a prayer manual that teaches you how to connect with the Most High. Okay, my brother? Thank you so much. Absolutely, my brother. So if you want, um, did, did you have an opportunity to take down my Instagram? No, I didn't. Okay, beautiful. So you can find me on Instagram. I am, I am, V Warner, T-H-E, Warner. This? Uh, beautiful, yeah. One? Yeah. Well, let me make sure that's me. Same. Yep, that's me. That's me. Okay, beautiful, my brother. Sounds good, man. Well, it's absolutely a pleasure and honor meeting you, my brother Michael. Yes. And uh, I hope you have a good one. Thanks so much. And I uh, wish you the best on your journey of finding the Thank truth. You. All right, man. Thanks so much. God bless you, man. And please stay stay in contact, okay? If you have any questions in the future, all right? <laughs> سألهم خزنتها سألهم خزنتها ألم يأتكم نذير قالوا بلى قد جاءنا نذير فكذبنا وقلنا ما نزل الله وقلنا ما نزل الله من شيء إن أنتم إلا في ضلال كبير وقالوا لو كنا نسمع أو نعقل ما كنا في أصحاب السعير فاعترفوا بذنبهم فسهقا لأصحاب السعير